This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. In this excerpt, I want to illustrate one of the plugins that we talked about. This product only supports Final Cut 10. It's $99. It has a free trial available, and it provides animated, hand-drawn whiteboard sketches of text and icons. There's 45 choices with over 400 animated sketches, and it requires FX Factory, which you can download at noiseindustries.com. FX Factory is free. And it serves as the effects foundation upon which a lot of these effects are based. Let me show you how StoryPop works. What I want to take a look at is this. <laughs> A handwritten letter H. That's what Story Pop is. Story Pop gives us all these wonderful hand-drawn cartoon-like shapes, and the way that we add them is we'll go to text, because it's text after all, and we'll go down to Stupid Raisins, and we'll look for Story Pop. There's a m bunch of different categories. We've got all the letters of the alphabet, numbers, exclamation, sorry, punctuation points, I should say, business logos, other hand-type logos, building logos, transportation. We've got flags and maps. I haven't done a map. Let's just hide this for a second. Type the letter V. We'll come back. I'm really curious. I haven't played with the map at all. So let's just make the map bigger. And let's watch the map get drawn. Ta-da! One map. And we've got United States, United Kingdoms. We can draw it, or we can just have it slide in. It slides in. Oh, see how it's pushed by the hand to get in? This is why we've got one map, but we have multiple options. We can have it fade in, pop in, have it be pushed in by a hand, or we can draw the map. Or we just say no animation at all. The other thing that we can do is we can change basic colors. We can add drop shadows, so our map can have a massive drop shadow should we want. Here we go. We can change the color of the drop shadow. So we've got some style controls over how this is going to look. But the real kick is to watch this get drawn in as the map is being built. Well, let's go back to our letter H. Let's go back here. We'll add another letter right about there. And select this clip. We'll draw the letter I. And we'll move to where that guy's gone, and we'll draw an exclamation point. Select that. Select the letter I. And let's see if we can change the color. Just have to add the amount of the color. There we go. Select punctuation. Change the X position. And We'll change the color of this to pink. Ta-da! The product is called Story Pop, and it's published by Stupid Raisins. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at third-party plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz/store and look for webinar 146. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free.
Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.